Right, we're going to do a precipitation reaction. Uh, we discussed precipitation in uh, the identification of anions, and now I'm going to show you how to do a simple precipitation reaction, which is also a double displacement. So, we're going to take one compound, here, copper sulfate, lovely blue colored crystals. Um, copper salts are very, very interesting and colorful, whereas sodium, sodium carbonate here, is boring and white, like 100,000 other powders. But when we mix them together, we should have something interesting happen. So I'm going to take a little bit of copper sulfate in a spatula, put it into the test tube, and we're going to add a bit of water to that and dissolve it. So let's just swirl that around until we've dissolved it. It should form a nice blue solution. And while that's busy dissolving, I'll do the sodium carbonate. So we take a little bit of that, we put that into the test tube, and we do exactly the same thing with a little bit of water. And we swirl it around and try to dissolve the sodium carbonate. So we have two solutions here, and what we're going to do is pour both of them through a filter funnel with filter paper in it, and we will get a precipitate, and then we'll get a solution. Uh, here's the filter funnel, and I'll show you how to fold one of these. You take a piece of filter paper like this, you fold it in half, you fold it again into a quarter, so now it's like that, and then you've got something like that. You put that into the filter funnel like this. So, solution of copper sulfate, solution of sodium carbonate, we're now going to combine the two of them, And you can see we've already got a precipitate. There's a, a, a solution in there, and there's also something that will not dissolve. And we're now going to pour it through the filter paper, which means the solution stuff will go through, the precipitate will remain. It might take a little while, so we'll come back to it. So basically, the copper sulfate becomes copper carbonate, and the sodium carbonate becomes sodium sulfate. They swap partners, in other words. And this is mostly sodium sulfate at the bottom, and this is copper carbonate, which is a precipitate, which you'll see doesn't dissolve in water. And the filter paper's captured it there very nicely, and it's very blue. So you can see that that's an entirely, it's even a different kind of blue to the color of copper sulfate. It's, it's a whole different compound. We call these double displacements. Very cool.